trading tools and different combinations over the years. And there are three that I found to initially be the most useful indicators for how I like to trade. And as time went on, simple became my mantra. And as a result, my trading decisions were clearer and were made with much less confusion and stress. Now, almost every charting platform comes with a host of indicators that those who engage in technical analysis may find useful. You simply apply any of them to your chart and a mathematical calculation takes place, taking into past price, current price, and depending on the market, volume. Now, the information that's presented to you via the indicator can be broken down into trend direction, momentum or the lack of momentum in the market, volatility for a profit potential, and volume measures to see how popular the market is. Now, the issue becomes using the same types of indicators on the chart, which basically gives you the same information. Now, while this may be explained as simply looking for a trade confirmation, what it really does is give you conflicting information as well as more information to process. A simple example is having several trend indicators that show you the short term, medium term, and longer term trend. From a multiple time frame perspective, this may appear logical. Many traders, though, they can attest to seeing a perfectly valid setup negated because of a trend conflict and then watch the trade play out to profit. Too much information can cause analysis paralysis, which can keep you from making trading choices that are actually profitable ones. Now, looking at just the trading range portion and price relation to the moving averages, we have number one, price below longer term average, which means short. Number two, price above the medium term means long. Price above the short term means long. Now, not seen on this chart, but the pivot black candle below number two is actually a retrace into an area where a long trade was the call, yet all trading indicators called to short at that time. Now, that is the main drawback with most trading indicators, and that is they lag price. Now, a trend indicator can be a useful addition to your day trading, but be extremely careful of confusing a relatively simple trend concept. Now, here's a question for you. Day trading involves quick decisions. Would your trading be better served by simple or complex information gathering? Now, useful is subjective, but there are general guidelines that you can use when seeking out useful indicators for your day trading. Now, one simple guideline is to choose one trend indicator, such as a moving average, and one momentum trading indicator, such as the stochastics. Now, in order to explain how these can be useful as day trading indicators, let's take a look at this chart. Number one, in brief, this is a pivot area where price broke through and rallied hard away from the moving average. Number two, price starts to trade above the moving average, as well as the slope of the indicator is up, and our plan says the trend is up. Number three, price returns to the area marked number one. It's also a complex A, B equals C, D retrace. Number four, the momentum indicator crosses, turns up, and we buy stop the high of the candle that turned it. A simple selection of trading indicators mixed with chart technicals can be the basis for your trading system. So do indicators work? Well, it all depends on how they're put together in the context.